Hey, it's Leo Monica. It's really early in the morning. I think it's about 6 a.m. and I'm here on a swing. Just meditating and just like um, giving myself a good cry because you know there are a lot of times when you just try to act brave you know and keep everything i don't know just inside and you just gotta have you gotta give time to like release all of that and not be brave all the time we need vulnerability and it's healthy so just can't believe i'm here right now and it's so beautiful and just meeting all of these people. I just feel so blessed to see this view. So oh, waiting for a sunrise. <laughs> Today is our last day in the loop. Like, after this day, we're going back to Hanoi. And I was praying last night that I would be out for this to see the sunrise here. And so, yeah, I woke up and I'm here alone. I don't see anyone else here. <laughs> We enjoyed ourselves so much last night. And they made us stay up till 12, but really, people people were still up like around, no, like past 1 a.m. I can't wait for the rest of the day. Heard we're going swimming. Hey babe, nice talking to you again. How are you? I'm, I can't believe I'm about to tell you 
about the last few days I had in Vietnam. I don't think I've told you, the Vietnamese love their karaoke too. I feel like the last day was the longest we stayed on our motorcycles. We were on our way back to our starting point of this whole amazing motorbike adventure. I guess every beginning has its end, and every end opens a new chapter. It was so adorable seeing kids walking home from school and leaving. Looking back, what I really enjoyed most about this trip are the people I met. Literally, wherever life throws you, if you have good core, fun-loving people with you, it'll be unforgettable. True to life in general, you gotta be really selective for the people in your circle. Go, Kian! <laughs> we were on our way to a weaving village where they showed us how they make their fabrics. You can observe their attention to detail and how they make their beautiful designs. It was very interesting to see all of that, but by that time we were all so hungry already and I was getting really tired. Like, you know the feeling when the wind just blows in your hair when you're riding a vehicle and then you get really sleepy? That happened to me and it was very dangerous. <laughs> My easy rider Kian started to notice and try to wake me up like Monica and I'm not much of a coffee person I drink matcha but this time I just really needed to wake myself up or else we're gonna get into an accident the last day is always so bittersweet looking back at it I can't believe I had all those experiences I love my slow mornings in Hanoi. Just observing how life's like there. It tickles all my senses. It feels safe here. I mean, besides crossing the street. <laughs> I've done so much during my two visits in Vietnam, but I feel like I still haven't done enough. There's still so much to see. So much to try, and so much to eat. <laughs> I still have things in my list that are left unchecked. Wouldn't mind going back a third time. I'd probably go see Da Nang, Hoi An, and Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> After having Korean barbecue, we went to go see the thrift shops of Hanoi. Thrift shops? Whoa! All of them! I love thrifting, but I realized that prices at my hometown are still way, way cheaper. We got to try from this famous ice cream shop that's been around since 1958. Can you guess which flavor I picked? 
If you said durian, then it's a yes! You got it right! We went inside Vincom Center and I was so stoked to see Jollibee there! Wow, Jollibee in Vietnam! No way! <laughs> Hello you guys! <laughs> Love you! Welcome to Vietnam! Uyn and I were on a hunt to find some fish sauce that I could bring back home to the Philippines. So we went to a wet market. Oh, right to his face, he called him ugly. Oh, a turtle! It's a baba. Baba? You told him that it's a baba. You eat that, right? Yep. What's that? Is that a shark? <laughs> We're vlogging! Okay. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> oh, Halloween! This is probably our favorite pre-game spot in Beer Street. Since my first trip to Vietnam, we made friends with the owner who was really sweet and nice. The food is good. And look, no rice. It's different because as a Filipina, I usually have rice with every meal. We really enjoyed people watching here. I don't know about you, but by far, the best bummy me I ever had was the one right outside the clubs of Beer Street. I had one with my friend Oshani, and I've known her since my first trip here. You never mentioned where you're from. What? I'm not interested. As I casually wait for my bum me to be served, Sometimes you need to just verbally lay down boundaries with some guys, but you know what? I never felt unsafe here. So I wouldn't worry partying late hours here, and there's a lot of hostels nearby, and a lot of the touristy stuff are just walking distance from Tahien or the old quarter. Partying with banh mi on hand is probably one of my fondest memories in Vietnam. How I found this place is interesting because I used to stay like around Ta Hien and I was looking for a tattoo shop and then this was the first place i found it was right at the end of the street of tahien they're really feeling the halloween spirit here so this is where i had my first tattoo and i'm here to schedule an appointment because i need a retouch and also i want a uv tattoo I wonder if the people here still recognize me. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. 
I went to visit the first international hostel I ever stayed in during my first trip here and I couldn't leave without taking a shot for my country. And of course I can't be in Hanoi and not eat my favorite, absolutely favorite bun bo number which is a beef noodle salad and I could eat this every day to be honest. Hi. I got to exercise my haggling skills here in Vietnam and I got this polo for a discount because I was feeling really chilly so yeah and also this bandana top is from one of the thrift shops we went to it's washed of course <laughs> For this trip, I was on a mission to see the actual train pass by Train Street. Luckily, one of the friends I made during the Hajang Loop, Jenny, who knew all about the Train Street, kindly accompanied me. I went back to Hanya Tattoo Studio to get my retouch and my beauty tattoo. Mười lần thang. Jenny was also considering getting a tattoo. I am getting a UV tattoo in the color white. I saw that my Norwegian friends that I met from the Hajong Loop had their brows done so I wanted to get my brows laminated too. So laminating your brows creates like a shiny, smooth, perfectly shaped brows. What's so cute about this experience is that when they found out I was Filipina, they started playing all Moira songs. <laughs> What's a vacation without a little bit of shopping? Am I right? <laughs> Is it expensive, the ticket? 
Ay, qué... No, no, Kang Lake. No, 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 They crack it open for you. Yeah. And then you have these. Oh, look, you saw that you buy yesterday? Oh, yeah, I bought that. Okay. <laughs> Too much. Too much. And then chili sauce. Okay. Okay. Balut 101. What's that? What's this one? This is the, 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 the vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of vegetable. <laughs> Really? It's just salt and hot sauce? Yes. And just vegetable? That. Yeah. Just okay. try it. Let's try it. Okay. You try it first. <laughs> Let me do it first. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. Today we will have Monica eating the food. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we put salt first. Okay. Not too much. Not too much. Is that enough? Chili sauce. Hot sauce? Yeah. Hot sauce. Okay. That's too much. <laughs> That's too much. Oh my god. No, but it's okay. It's super hot. And vegetable? Yep. Vegetable? With ginger. ginger. Okay. A bit of ginger. Okay, that's it. Okay. Oh! Now. Cut it and eat it. All in one bite. <laughs> all in one bite. Okay, all in one bite. Okay. One, two, three. Like, you should try balut in Vietnam. Yeah, you should. <laughs> it's a different experience. <laughs> It's good? Yeah. Also, 
Why this soup? Yeah. 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 Quail balloon? Yeah. That is quail balloon, right? I don't know how to call it in English, but it is quail balloon. Yeah. It's called like, it's like, trứng cút. Trứng cút lọ. Okay, I will try it. Okay. She has peanuts. It's good. It's sweet. Yeah. And I think it has butter. I think it's a little bit of butter. Taste it. Yeah. The one like a pomelo. This one is what? What is this? It's a pomelo. Pomelo? Yes. Uh -huh. This to make the smell get out of our head. Oh, really? Yeah. Whoa, amazing. <laughs> He's so stinky when <laughs> after uh -huh. you eat me. Babe, before heading to the airport, I went on a little date. <laughs> I was just casually describing to him what a perfect date would look like to me. And it was looking at the skyline with drinks and deep conversations. Only then realizing that he gave me my perfect date. He was cute. Another core memory to bring back home with me. I couldn't help but reflect on all the new things written in my story called life. I'm truly grateful for everything. Happy to find out the souvenir shops at the airport aren't overpriced. By the evening I arrived at Davao, I listened to Bo Sanchez talk about investing in stock market. Driver and all our employees, how to invest in the stock market. And she has a great story to tell. You wanna share, Gina? Come, come, come. Hi, Gina. Not even 24 hours in Davao, I'm off again to another beautiful place. It's also known as the surfing capital of the Philippines. My home away from home. I can't wait to tell you about my Halloween experience there, babe. And if you learned something, or I made you happy, and I'd done my job, take care always, babe. <laughs>